If you would like to register for classes next semester, this is what you need to do. The first step is to meet with your advisor to go over your program and see what classes you need to take next semester. The second step is to log in to your student portal. Once you log in, you need to go to the registration button on the left hand side. Once you click on this, you will see all the classes that are available. To enroll into a class, it's really easy. All you have to do is click the checkbox next to the class. If the class is full, the checkbox will not be available for you to enroll into that class. If you have not fulfilled the prerequisites required for a class, you will see prereq where the checkbox would be. To check what prerequisites are required for this class, if you click on the class name, a new window will pop up and it will show you the prerequisites formula. Also, to be enrolled, you must enroll into chapel. If you do not enroll into chapel, you will receive an error when trying to process your registration. Some other tools that are available to help you with your enrollment process are located at the very top. If you click on Show Academic Information, it will show you your advisor as well as your major. If you click on Show Pending Courses, these are the courses that you have clicked to enroll in. If you click on Show Filter, a drop-down comes down and you can search by department, course number, sections, days, and times. Also, under additional options, you can choose to display how many courses you want on each page. Also, if you click the completed course checkbox, then click apply filter, a new button will show at the top. If you click on this, this will show you all of the classes that you've completed. The next step is for athletes. If you are an athlete, you must enroll into your sport, either for credit or for no credit. You must also enroll into the varsity sports class. If you do not enroll into this class, your registration will not be able to be completed. You must enroll into your sport if you are an athlete. If you do not enroll into your sport, your athletic scholarship will not be applied to your account. Once your registration is complete, you need to click on Process Registration, and then you'll see a summary of the classes you just enrolled into. From here, you'll then need to go to My Schedule to make sure that all of your classes are put in correctly. Also, next, you want to check My Ledger to see what your bill will be and how much you'll owe. Finally, if you want to add a class, you can add a class up until the day before classes start. However, you cannot drop through the portal. If you want to drop a class at any time, you will need to see your advisor. This concludes our tutorial.